Hi friends, welcome to another Preschool at Home video. Let's start with our song. Ready? Good morning friends, good morning friends, good morning friends, I'm glad you're here today. Hooray! I'm glad you're here today. Today I have another Thanksgiving book for you and we're going to play a racing turkeys game which is why I have our number line on the wall and then we're going to sing our gobble gobble wobble wobble song again. All right, let's start with our book. Today's book is Clifford's Thanksgiving Visit and this is by Norman Bridwell. Clifford's Thanksgiving Visit. Well, that's Lucy shaking out her ears. She came to see what we were up to. Hi, my name is Emily Elizabeth. My dog Clifford and I have a lot of fun on Halloween. Then, as soon as Halloween is over, we start looking forward to Thanksgiving. Last Thanksgiving, my, fl my family flew away to visit my grandma. Clifford had to stay home. Our neighbors took care of him. They were very kind, but Clifford got lonely. He thought about his own family. His father, his sisters, Bonnie and Claudia, his brother Nero, they all live in different places. If you hear some hammering, some people are working on our roof today. Most of all, Clifford thought about his mom. He decided to spend Thanksgiving with her. She lives in the city. Early Thanksgiving morning, Clifford started out. It was easy. There weren't many cars. But as he got near the city, there were a lot of cars. Everybody seemed to be going to see their moms. Some drivers were in a hurry. They bumped into Clifford and honked at him. I bet they were surprised to see a big red dog walking down the freeway. Clifford came to a bridge. There were no cars on it. They had all stopped. Clifford wondered why. Soon he found out it was a drawbridge and it was opening right under Clifford. Oh dear. Oh no! Poor Clifford. Clifford was wet and cold. He did not want to go back on the highway. There was only one other way to go. The tunnel was dark and narrow. Suddenly there was a roar and bright light in Clifford's eyes. <laughs> uh oh. The train stopped. The people inside were as surprised as Clifford. He couldn't turn around, so he pushed the train back to the station. Then he jumped out onto the street. He was in a strange neighborhood. Nothing looked familiar. Where was his mom? Clifford saw a very tall building. He climbed up to look around. He could see his old neighborhood. He could see his mom's home. He jumped down and started walking. A Thanksgiving Day parade was blocking his way. Clifford usually loved parades. But he was in a hurry to get to his mom. He decided to take a shortcut through the park. He was almost there. He passed some kids playing football in the park. Clifford didn't mean to, but he wound up in the game. At last, he found his mom. She was happy to see her little boy. His, her owner was happy too. He served them a nice Thanksgiving dinner. I was having fun at grandma's house, but 
But I kept thinking about Clifford. I wondered if he was thinking about me. He was. He loves his mom, but as soon as he could, he hurried home. So did I. Because I am thankful for Clifford, and he is thankful for me. Nice Thanksgiving story about finding family. All right, so I thought we'd play a game with these little um, turkeys that I made out of clips. I just made them this morning, so the glue is still a little bit wet, but here's our turkey. We have two of them, and I used a little bit of ribbon. Oh, this one is sliding for their feathers on top. They had eyes and a beak and their feathers. And what we're going to do is roll our dice. I found my big yellow dice again. And we're going to see which turkey goes from 1 to 30 the fastest. So we'll put this little turkey on top. Whoops. And then we'll fix the tape. Oh dear. Maybe we have to put it down lower? <laughs> Hold on just a sec. Let me get some extra tape here. have this blue painter's tape so it won't bother the wall. Put tape there and tape there because we don't want our number line to fall over as we're moving the turkeys down. There, that'll work. All right. Oh, there goes feathers because they're not dried yet. Oh, no. All right. We'll do the best we can, friends. Sometimes it doesn't work out perfectly. We'll do one on top and one on the bottom. All right, let's start and see whether the what how many spaces we're going to move the top turn. Oh, one. Not a very far move, Mr. Turkey. All right. I'm going to have to take his feathers off. The top feather, the top turkey will be the feather-free turkey. All right, now let's do the bottom turkey. 3. One, two, three. All right, this one goes down here at number three. So the bottom turkey is ahead. All right, let's roll for the top turkey again. <gasps> five. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We'll move top turkey five spaces. Now let's move the bottom turkey. Ooh, the bottom turkey gets to go. Six. So he's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. All right, so far the bottom turkey's ahead. Let's roll again. Four. We'll move the top turkey one, two, three, four spaces up to the number ten. Now let's move the bottom turkey. One. Well, look at that. They are both on the number 10. They are even. This is getting to be a contest. All right, let's roll again. Top turkey's gonna move five spaces. One, two, three, four, five up to the number 15. Now let's see how far the bottom turkey's going to move. Four. One, two, three, four to the number 14 spot. And now the top turkey is ahead just by one space. Up, top turkey goes. One. One. Let's see how far the bottom turkey's going to go. One, two, three. One, two, three. So up to the number 17. Now the top turkey is ahead, but only by one space. They're very close. Top turkey is going to move three. One, two, three. Up to number 19. All right, bottom turkey. One number 18. Only apart by one space again. <sighs> Top turkey moves five. One, two, three, four, five. Up to the number 24. 
And the bottom turkey is going to move six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. No way! They're both on the number 24. They've caught up to each other again. Let's count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six spaces to the end. Let's see who gets there first. All right, top turkey's gonna move three spaces. One, two, three. All right, bottom turkey is gonna move two spaces. One, two. So top turkey has one, two, three spaces, and bottom turkey has one, two, three, four spaces. Who's going to get there first? Oh, my dice are all, all the way across the floor. Hold on one sec, let me grab it. Uh, top turkey's going six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Top turkey one. All right, let's see how many spaces bottom turkey goes. Bottom turkey's going three spaces. One, two, three. So top turkey won the race all the way across the number line. That was fun. All right, we're gonna sing our gobble, gobble, wobble, or wobble, wobble, gobble, gobble song again. Ready? Do you remember it from yesterday? With a wobble, 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 and a gobble, 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 all the turkeys spread their feathers on Thanksgiving Day. When they see the farmer coming, all those turkeys start a running, and they say, you cannot catch us on Thanksgiving Day. Well, friends, thanks for joining me today. We've done our book, we played our game, and we sang our song. Tomorrow we'll do a little more with Thanksgiving because it's a lot of fun to talk about. Let's close with our goodbye song. Ready? Goodbye, 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 my friends to you. God bless you everywhere you go in all you say and do. Bye, friends.